In the last presentation, we saw the introduction of field effect transistors and the first field effect transistor we have to study is junction field effect transistor popularly known as JFET where JFET is the abbreviated form of junction field effect transistor. There are two types of JFET. The first one is N channel JFET and the second one is P channel JFET. In this lecture, we will see the construction and working of N channel JFET. If you remember the BJT lectures, we used N, P and BJT to understand the concepts and problems. Now while discussing JFET, we will use N channel JFET. You can see the construction of N channel JFET on your screen and the major part of JFET structure is N type material. You can see the major part of the structure is N type material and it is forming a channel between two embedded P type materials. We have two P type materials and this N type material is forming a channel between these two P type materials and because of this reason we call this structure N channel JFET because N type material is forming a channel between two P type materials and when you see the construction of P channel JFET you will find P type material is forming channel between two N type materials. You can see four ohmic contacts in this structure. This is the first ohmic contact and this terminal is the drain terminal. The drain terminal represented by capital D. The second ohmic contact is this one and the terminal here is the source terminal source terminal represented by capital S the third and fourth ohmic contacts are connected together and one common terminal is taken out which is called as gate this is the gate terminal represented by capital G JFAT is a three terminal device like BJT JFAT is also a three terminal device and when you see the physical structure of JFET, you will find it is like BJT. When you see the physical JFET, you will find it is having three legs like BJT and the construction is same as BJT. In case of junction field effect transistors, there are two PN junctions. There are two PN junctions. The first PN junction is formed between this P type material and the N type material and the second PN junction is formed between this P type material and the N type material and because of this we have because of this we have two depletion regions two depletion regions are formed at two PN junctions the pink portion in the construction is the depletion region or depletion layer and we already know depletion region is depleted of free charge carriers. There are no free charge carriers in the depletion region. So it will not help us in conduction. And if you increase the width of depletion region, if you increase the width of depletion region like this, then width of N channel will reduce and because of this there will be obstruction in the flow of electrons when you connect drain and source terminals to a potential difference then because of this potential difference the free electrons in the N channel will be drifted like this and the conventional current ID will flow like this but if you increase the width of depletion region the flow of electrons will be obstructed and we can control the width of depletion region using the gate terminal. So we can control the flow of electrons by using the gate terminal. The potential difference between the gate terminal and the source terminal will control the width of depletion region and this potential difference VGS will now control the output current ID. So we call this device voltage controlled device. BJT is a current controlled device 
and if we talk about working of bjt and working of jfat then working of jfat is very easy to understand the working of bjt is little bit complicated as compared to the working of jfat and from this explanation you now have some idea about the working of jfat but before moving to the complete explanation i will first try to explain one simple analogy to understand the working of jfat we will try to understand the working of spigot you can see spigot on your screen it is also called as tap this knob here is called as valve knob the water is coming out of spigot from the overhead tank we have the overhead tank and the water from overhead tank is coming out of spigot and here we have the drain this is the drain or you can say the sink now let us try to compare the working of jfat with the working of spigot water is coming out of spigot because of potential difference the potential of this stored water is the reason for the water coming out of spigot so we can say that we can say that the cause of water flow the cause of water flow in case of spigot is same as the applied voltage between the drain and source the applied voltage voltage between drain and source because when you apply voltage between drain and source the electron in the n channel will drift and water is same as electron in the n channel the next comparison is between the valve knob and the gate here the valve knob is is controlling the water coming out of spigot and here the gate is controlling the movement of electron in the n channel so we can say that valve knob is same as the gate in jfat the next comparison is between the sink and the drain the sink in this case is same as the drain in case of jfat you can see water is going in the sink and here electron is going towards the drain so their working is similar the next comparison is between the source the source in case of jfat and the source of water in case of spigot the source of water is definitely the tank the overhead the overhead tank but if you see only this portion then you will find the source of water this is water the source of water is nothing but the spigot so source of water is spigot and this water is going to the sink which is working like drain so spigot is working like source in case of jfat so i hope you now understand this simple analogy and if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section in the next presentation we will discuss working of jfat when vgs is equal to 0 and the potential difference between source and drain is positive vds is greater than 0 volts and vgs is equal to 0 volts so this is all see you in the next one